Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Jams by Jish. I'm Jish, and today we are going to talk about what makes a good album. And in order to talk about that, we're going to talk about Sour. Album, now two years old, by the one and only Olivia Rodrigo. If you like this video, make sure you leave a comment telling me about your favorite part. Like it, uh, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you around for more content. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that this album does really well is it has a cohesive theme. The album was written to be about one subject the entire time. This is because the album was just written by Olivia Rodrigo and her producer, so she got to make it the way that she wanted to do it. Another great thing about this album is that it is authentic to Olivia Rodrigo. As I just mentioned, it was written by just her and her producer, so she got to make it sound exactly like how she wanted. By doing this, we really get insight into who Olivia Rodrigo is from the vulnerability that she displays in songs like Happier, Jealousy, Jealousy, basically throughout the whole album. We see so much, but then we also see her defiance in songs like Brutal and Good For You, and we see the pettiness, we see the love, we see the kindness. There's so much that she really gets to showcase by making this album her own. Another great thing about the album is that it has a lot of variety, from the sort of more pop-punky elements of Brutal and Good For You, to the more balladic parts of Deja Vu and Driver's License, and even the more stripped-back portions of One Step Forward and Three Steps Back. We get to see a lot of range out of Olivia Rodrigo. Even though it has all these sounds, it still fits. Another thing that we need to talk about is the production of this album. Normally I'm not like a big production nerd guy, but you can tell when an album uses like actual instruments and is made by people who actually play these instruments. And the sound of this album is so satisfying. It's so relieving. It's such a breath of fresh air in all of the sort of synthetic music that we get that it just goes over like butter across the years. Of course, this album is catchy. Every song has a hook. Every song has you thoroughly interested from the beginning to the end. There's no skips. It's just an entire album of exhilaration and excitement. Another thing that this album got right is it really captured the mood of the people. Let me explain. It came out during the pandemic, and it just captured an angst that everyone felt and everyone wanted to get out. And that angst is so rare these days that when we heard it, everyone just collectively was like, this is what I am feeling. And to be able to capture the nation, the world, like that, that's a skill. It's also important to mention that this album wears its influences on its sleeve. From the Avril Lavigne-esque punk beat bits to the Taylor Swift-esque delivery and songs. We see Olivia Rodrigo paying homage to her influences in an excellent way. You could tell that she really loves the music that she was inspired by. And it's okay to take things that you're influenced from and make them your own. And that's what she does here. And lastly, Olivia Rodrigo is just that talented. She's hardworking. She has clearly been singing for years and she loves what she's doing. She is built for this and this project is the epitome of a labor of love. Well, that's about all the time we have. Thanks again, everyone. And 
if you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Alright, bye bye